Now this is the discovery of the first transiting circumbinary planet. What that means is a circumbinary planet is a planet that goes around two stars at the same time. And transit means it moves in front of the stars, causing a slight drop in the brightness. Multiple star systems, uh, people looking up at multiple sunsets and so on, is a familiar theme from science fiction. But this is the first time that it has become science fact. So in some sense, that Star Wars that sunset that on Tatooine that Luke Skywalker saw has become a possibility. In some sense, um, the galaxy far, far away has become our own galaxy now. Well, this is a very exciting discovery for me, uh, in part because I've been looking for circumbinary planets for over two decades. But it doesn't feel like an ending. It feels like a beginning. Because what it has done is opened up a whole new type of planetary system that can form in the galaxy. There must be millions of these type of systems in the Milky Way galaxy. There's a great moment in New Hope where Luke is watching a twin sunset on Tatooine. And it's a, it's a great way to, to show that we're not on Earth, that it's this exotic environment. Um, but that was never really thought to be possible. And it's uh, exciting to see that the science is uh, caught up with, uh, with the fantasy, that, that uh, it is, it's real, it's possible. The reality is often cooler than the fiction. Uh, that you know, when we see discoveries like this from Kepler, we see that that uh, the universe is really a, a weird and exotic place, and uh, more so than, than a lot of the, the depictions we make. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two engine start, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Burning our engine chamber pressures are building. Groundlet solid motors are building in chamber pressure. Increasing at this time. Pressure's looking good. 